Kapag nalaman nyo kung ano to at kung ano yung specs niya, baka lang kalimutan nyo na lahat ng mga brands, lahat ng mga phones na review ko so far. Ito yung pinamabentang series ni Tecno, si Tecno Pova Series. At alam nyo ba, ito yung pinakaunang pro version ni Tecno Pova? That's right, for the first time ever, may pro version na si Tecno Pova and the specs are unbelievably really good. Pati yung design guys, ang ganda. But wait, ano ba meron dito? Meron siyang Helio G99 processor, 6 nanometers. Meron pa siyang AMOLED display, 90 hertz refresh rate. And get this, 6,000 milliamperes of battery. No, oh, di ba yun dati 7,000 milliampere? Ngayon, 6,000 na lang. But wait guys, wait lang. Ang hindi nyo alam, meron siyang 45 watts of fast charging, which means hindi na po hassle mag-charge. Nang isang Technopova, meron din siyang 50 MP AI camera, so okay na rin siya for daily driver. And the design, kapag nakita nyo po siya, Oh my god, kakayo siya sa lahat under 10k. Oh, speaking of the price, yes guys, yes, 10k lang po siya. What? 13 gigabyte siya? Up to? And get this, up to 256 gigs din ang kanyang internal storage. Meron siyang 128. Guys, this is the gaming phone to get kung meron kang 10k. Kalimutan na ba lahat ng mga ibang brands and phones? We'll have to see. Lots of bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo! Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, put it sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Uh, Techno Pova 4 Pro and the uh, yeah, specs are good. Ganda, ang, uh, very shiny, no? Ang harapan. It's a very shiny product. Yun lang, no? Kung gaming phone siya, dapat gaming din yung box. Malang Marty lang talaga ako. Kasi, parang feeling ko kasi. Kumayan na yan. Mukhang flagship kasi yung box. So, dapat mukhang flagship yung phone, di ba? And what is this? Dahil recession, yung nag-design, mali-mali yung cut. <coughs> De, joke lang. Yan yung part ng design niya. Yan naman eh. Meron siyang user manual. And wow, look at that. Grabe ang uh, presentation sa ilalim. Alam mo yun, no? Yung kapag first time yung date nyo. Pag nakita mo yung sa ilalim na niya. Si ito yung nakita mo. So big. Sana all. Hehe, <laughs> boy. Ayun, no? may box pa siya. Big things come in small packages. 45 watts. Ooh. Parang libro. Nungusan mo. Wow. May SIM ejector pin. Ayan. The USB Type-C cable. And the earphones. Now my microphone. Nice. Oh, by the way. Since gaming phone to, Naisipan ni Tecno na mag-collaboration kay MLBB para daw sa mas superb na gaming experience. Meaning, sobrang optimized siguro ng phone na to for ML. Feeling ko lang. Here it is. And, uy. Ayan na. Oh. My. Goodness. Grabe yan. Wow. Tingnan natin kung tama yung pagkakakat. Oh. Diba? Kala nyo mali yung cut. Kala nyo grade school yung nag-cut. Nope. Ganyan po talaga yung design ng kanyang likod. Yan po ay Rutile Orange ang pangalan niya. Meron pa ba siyang Uranolith Gray and Fluorite Blue. Okay, so medyo tongue twister ang kanyang colors. So, kasi sabi ko no, yung kanyang gamer feel look na dapat swak sa kanyang box, hindi mo akalain na pang gaming pala yung tsura niya. <laughs> pag unbox mo, ito yung makuha mo eh. Now, this is not the first time I have ever seen na ganito yung itsura ng isang Technopova. I have seen this on the Technopova 3, yung kanalang parang electro blue color. Yes, but this one has a totally different design and shape sa likod niya. Pati yung pa-effects niya, ibang-iba na rin. Ito yung parang shattered glass design sa kanalang likod. Yes, parang nabasag daw yung glass sa likod. At ayan na po yung itsura niya. Which is parang sa akin, mukha siyang parang Spider-Man logo. Spider-Man feels. Yung color lang. Siyempre iba yung blue and gray. Pero ito ha, ah, ito yung kailangan nyo maintindihan. There is nothing else under 10K na ganito yung design. Oppo, Vivo, Infinix, medyo okay lang sila. Mukha daw flagship yung mga phones nila. But this one, mukha talaga siyang pang gaming. Alam nyo naman yung difference ng isang gaming PC sa regular PC, di ba? Ang gaming PC, maraming pailaw, medyo radical yung design niya, mga ganyan-ganyan. Ganyan din dito sa gaming phone na to. As for in fairness, I love the design. It looks really nice. Gamer feels talaga siya. At ang sarap hawakan po sa likod niya. Matte finish. Hindi po yan dumihin. Pwede mo siyang gamitin kahit walang jelly case sa likod. Like a glow in the dark pa to? Tingnan natin. Hindi. 
Okay. Wala naman nakalagay na glow in the dark siya. So, <laughs> test lang ako. Gugong! But yes, kapag tinatamaan siya ng ilaw, nag-glow po yung kanyang linya-linya dyan, no? Parang laser ang datingan. Nice. That nice glow. Medyo may gradient effect sa kanyang taas dito banda. Ayan po yung kanyang camera module, no? Yung parang shattered glass design. The back is mostly flat, no? Meron siya yung parang pa-curve dun sa edge niya sa dulo. And you also have some flat sides na may konting pagka-curve. I think this is going for the hybrid box type and curve type phone. Kung merong isang phone na pure box type or pure curve type, ito po yung in the middle. And by the way, no? Mukha talaga siyang parang flagship gaming phone na meron po siyang parang lightning symbol dito. I don't know what that is for. Pag pinipress ko ba yan, iilaw ba siya? Nope. At ano dito po yung kanyang Tecno Pova logo. Nice. Alam nyo ba, yung mga nagbibenta nito, kapag nagtanong yung customer, Sir, uh, isa ko nga pong Tecno dyan. Tecno Pova, sir. Oo. Uh, yun lang, yun lang sinasabi nila. So, <laughs> corny. <laughs> Now, what's not corny are the sides of the phone. Kasi, ito po ay merong volume rocker, power button, sa right side. Sa taas naman ay may speaker. Uy, mukhang stereo speaker to ah. Sa ilalim, meron din siyang speaker, USB Type-C port, isang microphone, headphone jack, and sa kanyang kaliwang side, yung kanyang SIM tray na dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability on top of the 256 gigs na meron ako dito. Nice. At ito na ata yung hinihintay ng mga Tecno Pova fans. For the first time ever, isang AMOLED display kay Pova Series OMG. Much brighter, better color, better contrast. Better everything. Guys, meron siyang 90Hz refresh rate on top of the AMOLED. 110K lang to. Meron pa siyang up to 180Hz touch sampling rate. Pang gaming talaga. At sa nakikita ko ngayon, ang smooth niya tingnan. Navigating on the homepage. Doing pretty much anything. Looks really, really damn smooth. Ibang klase na yung Helio G99 yun. No? Kung inisip niyo na, baka maliit na yung jump niya from the 96, 95, nope. This is a big jump. Feeling ko lang, ito ay parang flagship level of performance na noong 2019. Dati, kung naabutan niyo isang phone na 10K, malagpo. Masyadong jerky yung interface. Ngayon, guys, sobrang smooth na siya. Para sa 10K nyo, ang dami na nyo nang pwedeng ma-experience. Sulit na sulit na po ang mga phone ngayon. Especially mga gaming phones katulad ito. Ayan, no? Wow! Ganda! Now, this is what I'm talking about. AMOLED display. Ang ganda ng itsura. Wait, tinan nyo yan. Oh! Nasu-zoom in pala, oh! Whoop! Wow! First time. Hindi nyo alam yun, no? Actually, na-update yung YouTube yan. Pwede na kayo mag-zoom in sa YouTube. Snakes. But yes, I'm able to play a 1440p video in YouTube. 60 frames per second. Napaka-klaro, napaka-sharp po ng image quality. And pwede mo pa siyang i-zoom in ng ganyan. Sobrang nakakatuwa. Wow, astig. Okay, so, not only in video performance, but also, yung kanyang audio quality ay, now, although hindi siya ganun kalakas, no, in terms of volume, I've heard much better. Ah, Siyempre, sa mga flagship, malalakas talaga yung mga speaker. But, in terms of pagka-clear and pagka-immersive, meron po siyang ganun, guys. Wala naman siya ng bass, no? But, get this, meron siyang DTS audio. Which means, kaya niya mag-stream ng higher quality music, it will give you a much clearer, much more immersive experience. Feeling ko, kagano ito sa headphones na meron ko yung support. And yes, without further ado, let's get it on with the gaming part. Na unang-una, I don't play games on my Android diretso. Kailangan nasa loob ako ng game space. Ang tawag dito ay si Panther Engine 2.0. Ito yung kanyang parang console game mode na puro games lang yan dito. Ang advantage dito, no, kapag ka nag-add ka na isang game dito, ibuboost niya. Boost the graphics, boost the performance. Meron kayong parang pang eSports mode na binablock niya mga calls, text, chats. Dito mo rin makikita may ibang information like yung battery, yung Wi-Fi signal. Everything actually is boosted here and is much more optimized for gaming. So, ito na nagagalan ako ng Mobile Legends, as you can see. And una kong napansin is yung kanyang color. Guys, ito po yung difference ng Tecno Pova 3 sa Tecno Pova 4. Since naka-amulid na siya, mas punchy po yung kanyang colors. Also, the contrast is much more punchy. Mas malakas po yung dating niya compared sa usual na LCD display. Ang ibig sabihin na naman yan is mas maganda yung graphics na makikita nyo sa isang AMOLED display katulad ni Tecno Pova 4. It's not even close. No? Kapag ka meron ka isang AMOLED display, para ka naka-RTX on versus RTX off. Whatever that means. Kung yung isa ay mukhang cartoons, ito naman, mas mukhang cartoons pa. And just like that, I went in to check out the settings. Oh my God. Naka-high refresh rate na siya at high graphics. 
Alam ko na, alam ko na. Ako yan. Ako na nagulat ako. Um, mas maganda siguro kung meron siyang super refresh rate na para mas magamit yung 90 hertz refresh rate niya. But yes, playing Mobile Legends on this is pretty good. Maganda naman experience. Wala na feel na lag. Except siguro kung nag-charge ka, medyo mainit yung room mo, doon na siya mag-frame drops. There's no getting away from that. No smartphone is perfect. But yes, la ang laki ng tulong ng AMOLED display niya. Napapansin ko yung kanyang mga effects, mga animation, yung mga skills, especially kapag may mga ilaw-ilaw, mas na-enhance, na-emphasize ng AMOLED display. Nakakatuwa tingnan. And oh, you gotta try this out. Meron po siyang gyroscope. Sa Call of Duty, pwede ako mag-aim gamit yung kanyang gyroscope. Look at this. Oop. Oop. Parang nag-drive lang, no? Although, hindi ako masyado sanay. Kailangan sanay ka dito, eh. You can either be the best in gyroscope or the worst. In terms of graphics, okay na naman siya. Uh, ito pala yung settings niya. Good thing is, dual speaker siya so mas immersive yung kanyang experience sa Call of Duty. But yes, I tried out PUBG yung bago. New state. Ah, ito talagang optimized siya. Meron siya 90 FPS mode. Wow. And look at this feature. Hunting mode? Pwedeng black and white para mas madali nyo makita yung kalaban nyo. Parang madaya to ah. And overall, maganda yung performance niya sa PUBG. Smooth as smooth. And ito yung parang itsura ng PUBG na nakikita ko na sa flagships dati. But now, kinakaya na ng mga mid-range phones just like the Tecno Pova 4 Pro. Impressive. And last but not least is si Genshin Impact, the ultimate benchmark game in the Play Store for Android phones. And as you can see, medyo naglalag siya sa high graphics. Pero okay naman siya sa medium graphics. Wala tayo magawa. Ang dami kasing version na lumabas si Genshin Impact. Hindi nag-stay yung kanyang graphics in the first release. Ibig sabihin, mas gumanda pa, mas bumigat pa yung game as time went by. Kahit gano'n pa ka-advance yung inyong processor, iba talaga si Genshin Impact. Medyo mabigat talaga itong game na to as time passed by. And ang laki na po ng file size ngayon nang i-download nyo dito sa game na to. Kasi ang laki na talaga niya. This is one big massive game. Now for me ah, I recommend playing on a PC or console na lang kaysa sa ganito. Mas mag-enjoy kayo. Promise. Now the camera has a 50 megapixel AI camera with a 2MP depth sensor. At ito po yung mga pictures na pwede nyo makuha sa kanya kapag binili nyo siya. It looks okay. No, uh, they're not really promoting this as a major camera phone. Okay na siya for your daily driver. Just don't expect too much. For me, sakto lang. Natutuwa lang ako kasi yung kanyang camera app. Ang dami masyadong features dito. No, May super night mode. Tapos kapag ka meron kang, ayan, in-swipe up mo, ang dami pa siya dito. May beauty mode, AI camera, slow motion, pro mode. Ang dami masyado na pwede magawin dito. Although in terms of quality, saktuan lang for me. Oh, by the way, kaya pa rin niya mag-shoot ng 2K, 30 frames per second, and 1080p, 60 frames per second. Bam! Kamusta ka na, Snapdragon 695? Na 1080p, 30 lang, kaya. And get this, sa harap din ay 2K, 30fps, pwede ka mag-vlog. Ang sharp ko tingnan dito. At ang pula ng mukha ko. Grabe naman yung ano ko. Walang beautification. I'm so looking sick here. And what? Meron siyang beauty mode. Okay, so ito yung beauty mode, no? Um, yan, mas smooth na yung itsura ko. Hindi ko na lang maghilamos pa. Kung bagong ligo man ako, mukha akong bagong ligo dito. Kasi meron siyang beauty mode on. And okay rin siya pang selfie, oh. Ito yung mga sample shot ko. Medyo reddish lang yung mukha ko ngayon, but I don't know why. But yeah. Kung hindi ka na picture hindi ka po tao. Now, so far, there is no phone that's as good as this. Except for another brand na review ko. Huwag ko na mention yun, pero alam nyo na yan. Pero baka makalibutan mo na siya dahil sa price nito. This is the price! Guys, 8128. 9,699 pesos only. And get this, ilang hundred pesos lang. Meron ka ng 8256 for only 10,000. 490 pesos lang! Also available, Techno Poba 4, expandable up to 13 gigabytes RAM for only 7,999 pesos. Kung medyo hindi nyo kaya sa si Pro version, meron pong Techno Poba 4. Out na po yan in the market. I know, sumabog din yung ulo nyo. Guys, hindi lang yung sumabog sa akin. <laughs> Yun, isang ulo din yun. But all I can say is, impressive siya. No? Up to 13GB po yan na RAM. Para sa akin, napakalaki po na kanyang storage na pinibigay. No? For 10K, meron ka ng 256GB. <laughs> Hirap na patanun na. Everything about the Tecno Pobo 4 Pro blows my mind. And I believe, sobrang mabenda to. You, you have to buy this on Christmas. Or kahit ngayon, sobrang natutuwa ako. Promise. Guys, if you wanna see a full comparison between this and another 
na feeling ko na maganda rin na i-compare sa kanya from another brand? Let me know guys in the comments below. And if you wanna see more Techno Pova series phones reviewed on my channel, mag-subscribe, kailangan hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. But it's Bins, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh.